The Royal Thai Embassy and all consulates in the U.S. have just completed the advanced voting process for overseas ties ahead of the May 14th general elections. Voice of America, Thai Service, Newsline's contributor, has followed up with the Thai missions on this process, and Kun Noparat, Thai Tele Mongkon, has all the details for us. Thai nationals in the U.S. who have registered for overseas advanced voting have begun exercising their rights. And here at the Royal Thai Embassy, voters were welcome to cast their ballots in person, while most who have chosen to do so by mail were sending back their sealed envelopes for officials to deliver to the Election Commission of Thailand. Over the past weekend, the Royal Thai Embassy in Washington, D.C., had for the first time opened its doors for those who chose for in-person voting in hopes of encouraging Thais to vote and also to allow officials to be more connected with the Thai community. Well, I think it's a way for, for us to connect even more closely with the Thai American community um, um, around the embassy in the, in, the, in the DMV area. That's one purpose, one goal that we would like to have. Also, we would like to um, promote the awareness uh, among uh, the, the, the Thai voters uh, in the United States. Despite downpours that have hit D.C., Virginia and Maryland before dawn, a number of eligible voters from these areas made it to cast their ballots, which they believe are crucial to help shape the future of Thailand. Um, I think it's really important, despite being here in the U.S., I'm still Thai. And I think it's really important for our country. As you know, we had had the same government for a while. And hopefully this time the voting really reflects the voices of the people. And hopefully we make changes for our country. I expect Thailand to be um, a fair, um, democratic country. And I expect Thailand to grow beyond what we are um, being right now. So I, I believe, I still believe that uh, Thailand will be the better country. At the end of the three day period for in person voting, 262 voters have shown up to cast their ballots. Based on 403 people who have registered for the process, that's the voter turnout of 65%. Meanwhile, some mail in ballots have also been sent back to the Thai embassy since before the in person polling booth opened. Officials told VOA Thai that the embassy has received a total of 2,169 ballots as of May the 2nd, and they were verified and delivered together with the in-person ballots to the Election Commission of Thailand. In Los Angeles, where only mail-in voting was organized, ballots have started returning since last week and have been handled under a watchful eye of election observers. Fong Huan Sawatipak, 34-year-old doctorate student at the University of Southern California and a political activist who was one of the observers of the overseas advanced voting at the Consulate General at Los Angeles, California, told VOA Thai that she is more concerned about how the election ballots will be handled in Thailand. Bong Kwan said she has not been quite concerned about any irregularities of the ballot handling process from the U.S. to Thailand, especially after her observation of the process. Her concern is more about the domestic transportation of the ballots, and she wonders how carefully the process will be performed. Official data confirmed that as of May the 2nd, the Thai Consulate General in LA received 4,815 ballots from voters, and a total of 3,649 ballots were already forwarded to Thailand. This year, 15,011 eligible Thai voters have registered to vote with Thai embassy and consulates in the U.S., with the largest number of 6,664 people coming from the LA mission. Noparachai Chile Mongkon. VOA Thai Service, Washington, D.C.